Thanks for joining us. I'm Huang Jie, and you're tuned into our special coverage of President Park Geun-hye's parliamentary address. In just a few minutes, we'll go live to the National Assembly, where President Park will outline her government's budget plan for next year. She's also expected to ask for bipartisan support to boost growth and urge lawmakers to pass a reform proposal of the pension program for government workers. Actually, yesterday, President Park, for the first First time asked her cabinet to complete reforms of the public servants pension system by the end of this year. Now, this is the second time for President Park to personally stand before parliament, which makes her the first Korean president to address the National Assembly for two straight years. Actually, three of her predecessors, No Teo, No Muhyun, and Lee Myung Bak, have also stood before Parliament in their first year in office, but then outlined their administrative goals through a speech read by their prime ministers in the following year. The presidential office says President Park's gesture reflects her respect and courtesy of the National Assembly. Now, following the speech, President Park will meet with leaders of both the ruling and opposition. Opposition parties. There, the opposition is expected to bring up issues like economic democratization, which is meant to balance out the vast power that the country's large conglomerates enjoy. They're also expected to discuss a constitutional amendment on changing Korea's presidential system, which President Park does not consider to be a pending issue. And actually, before giving her speech at the national. Assembly Park was planned to meet at, uh, with leaders of her ruling Senuri Party with uh, a move that's seen as to coordinate pending issues like the that we've just meant that I've just mentioned the public servants pension reform bill. The bill actually aims to cut. The government's pension deficit by delaying pension payouts for public servants by five years until they turn 65. The bill, which is largely based on the government's proposal, has faced fierce criticism from government workers, as well as opposition parties. And now we're at the National Assembly. President Park is about to give her speech there. Uh, And going back to the, the pending issues going on at the National Assembly, uh, we're seeing also some... And over at the National Assembly, again, uh, the, she's about to give her parliamentary speech. The... But okay, let's just go back to what we've been talking about. Now, with the annual parliamentary audit of the government officially over on Monday, the ruling Senuri Party pledged to do its best on the passage of the budget bill by the legal deadline of December 2nd. And that's also why President Pakane is giving her speech at the parliament because. Uh, she wants to pass those pending bills by the end of this year. Actually, Korea's parliament is notorious for its end-of-year tug-of-war between parties seeking to amend the government's budget plan in their favor. The government narrowly uh, avoided drawing up a tentative budget this year as the parliament approved the budget bill on January 1st. At the National Assembly, we'll, we are still waiting for President Park to give her speech. And she's about to enter, uh, head toward the podium to give her speech. But just to just to go back on uh, the reform bill that is one of the most pending issues, pending national issue, the bill again aims to cut the government's pension deficit by postponing pension payouts for public servants. And this is largely based on the government's proposal. So the ruling Senori party and the government is uh, pushing to delay the pension payouts, but it is facing fierce criticism from the opposition and government workers.
Finally, she's now um, heading toward the podium to give her parliamentary speech at the National Assembly. A round of applause for President Pakane is being given. And she is now heading toward the podium and about to give her speech. Fellow citizens, Honorable Speaker Chong Yuha of the National Assembly, members of the National Assembly, as was promised last year, here I come back in order to explain to you the 2015 budget plan. Myself and the Korean government during the past one year have undertaken four major policies in order to see the national innovation and economic revitalization. As a result, As a result, the Korean economy is gradually making improvements. With regard to the growth rate, last year it was 3.0 percent. However, this year it rose to the mid-3 percent range. That is our expectation. And more jobs are created. And the employment rate, which is stood at 64 percent last year, is expected to rise to 65 percent. However, the Korean economy is still at risk. The Bank of Korea last week announced the third quarter GDP growth rate, and it shows that the manufacturing production uh, was reduced by 0.9 percent, and exports as well came down significantly. And August uh, facility investment uh, businesses also plummeted to the lowest in 11.7 years. The Korean economy is currently experiencing three major lows, low growth rate, low inflation, and low Japanese yen. And because of this, businesses' competitiveness is being deteriorating. And uh, the United States' early, earlier than expected interest rate uh, reduction is also creating a lot of uncertainties in the global economy. The most serious issue at this point is that uh, the aging issue is taking place very rapidly, so by 2017 there will be less active working population in Korea, and this will undermine Korea's growth potential. As such, we are faced with a lot of challenges both at home and abroad, and if we don't respond to these challenges, then the Korean economy could uh, undergo protracted economic recession and may lose the economic engine for revitalization of our economy. I think that we are at a very critical juncture that will determine whether or not we make a leap forward or become stagnated. I think that we are at a last golden time opportunity to revitalize our economy. National Assembly, the government, the people, and the businesses need to come together and roll up our sleeves in order to reinvigorate the Korean economy. With that understanding in mind, I would like to take this opportunity to explain to our distinguished members of Parliament the basic policy direction for next year and also the physical operation and budget plan and ask for your cooperation. My fellow Korean people, members of National Assembly, the Korean government uh, focuses on economic revitalization as its uh, utmost priority for next year and also expanded budget uh, by 20 trillion won. For the uh, latter half of this year, we assigned a 12 trillion won for physical reinforcement, 5 trillion won for public agency investment, and 29 trillion won for policy financial support. So if we have uh, this, 46 trillion won uh, policy package on top of the expensive budget, I think that we can revitalize our economy. I understand that in this process, the physical debt and the government debt will 
physical deficit and government debt could increase. However, if the households and businesses do not have the spending power and at the same time the government closes, shuts its purse, then that I believe that the current economy will not be able to break away from the vicious cycle of low growth. When a household is at a difficulty, if the family members don't do anything, I believe that we cannot overcome the difficulty. Likewise, when a nation is in difficulty in terms of economy, I believe that we all need to come together to wisely overcome that difficulty. By expanding physical deficit, I think that we need to spend in our economy so that we can overcome the current crisis that we face. I think that timely physical investment can become a priming measure to revitalize our economy, and uh, with the expanded tax revenue, we can create a virtual cycle that will also strengthen our physical fundamentals and gradually help us reduce physical deficit and government debt. By 2018, the Korean government has put together a mid-term physical plan. According to this plan, uh, we will be able to lay down the groundwork for a balanced physical standing, and also the government debt uh, will be able to lower it uh, to a stable level of 30 percent. In the beginning of this administration, uh, we had some physical difficulties, but it is my goal to improve that physical condition when I turn over the government to the next administration. I will work for the revitalization of our economy, but at the same time, I'm going to work on enhancing the fundamentals of our economy and also work on improving the growth potential. For that, I'm going to work on structural reform as well. Last February, celebrating my first year anniversary, I announced a three-year plan for economic innovation for our economy's innovation and another, another leap forward. In the public sector, I aim to correct the lax management and inefficiency so that we can build a strong fundamental economy and also uh, lay down the groundwork for a creative economy. By doing so, I believe that we can create a dynamic as well as innovative economy and also realize a balanced economy with uh, both domestic, balanced domestic and exports. Next year, 2015, will be the first year uh, with that uh, three-year plan for economic innovation, and I'm going to do all my best so that people can actually feel the effects of that uh, three-year plan for economic innovation. In order to achieve this, along with uh, the three-year plan for economic innovation, we have three key issues uh, that we will have to address, and I'd like to explain to the National Assembly these issues and the plan. Distinguished uh, fellow Koreans, uh, members of the National Assembly, in order for the Korean government to become an advanced economy, we have to correct irregular systems and institutions. We need to correct all the past ill practices so that we can build a strong economic foundation. First and foremost, our responsibility lies with ensuring safety of the Korean people. For that, uh, next year budget, for next year's budget, I plan to expand uh, the budget uh, by 17.9 percent and uh, allocate a 14.6 trillion won for that. We are going to work on renovating uh, school facilities and also improve uh, risky roads and uh, not only the hardware, but we are also going to also work on improving software safety issues, for example, safety education and uh, national disaster safety communication network. Using various apps, we are also going to mobilize uh, the Korean people so that they can voluntarily take part in ensuring their safety and uh, by injecting safety investment fund and budget, if there is any risky facilities around us, I, we will make sure that they are corrected immediately. And also in schools and in major infrastructures, if there are any risks and safety 
issues. We believe that we can prevent it uh, using these measures and also raise people's awareness regarding public safety. And with those safe facilities, I believe that we can also enhance investment and also revitalize our economy and also encourage private sector's investment in the developing safety products and uh, nurturing talents in the area of safety. And that will also help us create a value-added industry of safety. In terms of public sector reform, I am going to work uh, tirelessly so that we can uh, reduce deficit. First and foremost, we need to work on the government workers' pension scheme. From 20 years ago, we all expected the serious seriousness of the uh, pension deficit. However, all the administrations so far delayed coming up with measures to correct the scheme. If we fail to come up with the right reform this year, I believe that we will be handing over insurmountable debt to our offspring and the following administrations. The government uh, pension scheme was first designed in the 1960s, but the current situation is very different from then. Compared uh, to the 60s, uh, the average longevity is increased by 30 years, and the recipients of the pension uh, scheme in 1933 was only uh, 6,000. However, in 2013, the number increased to 370,000, more than 60 times. As a result, the current uh, national pension deficit is 15 trillion one in this government, and that will increase to 33 trillion one in the next administration and 53 trillion one in the next next administration. As such, the burden on the people will still ball. Therefore, we need to work on this public scheme in reform. However, we know that uh, it's going to require sacrifice on the part of the government workers, and that is why the former governments have avoided uh, amending this issue. However, we cannot neglect this issue any further. By neglecting this issue and by delaying, I believe that we will be handing over a massive debt on the offsprings and the future generations, and it will result in the failure of the public pension system in the end. Therefore, we need to desperately change and reform the system. For many years, public servants have uh, worked as a pillar of our nation. I understand uh, their contributions and devotion, and I appreciate uh, their sense of mission. However, the Korean economy is in many difficulties, and uh, the ordinary people's lives are also in the destitute conditions. Therefore, we uh, please remember that your sacrifice today will be uh, the source of uh, building a better future for Korea and for our future generation. So I understand your, for your kind understanding, and I ask other public servants to understand that and also join in this reform. The public uh, pension scheme needs to be reformed uh, by the end of this year, and I asked the National Assembly to collaborate closely to make that happen. Uh, I'm also going to work on reforming the public sector so that we can reduce public sector debt. This year, we have introduced many normalization plans for government offices, and uh, many of the lex management issues were corrected. And by the end of this year, I believe that we can reduce uh, the public sector debt uh, by 33 trillion won. Based on these achievements as we go forward, I will work on improving productivity and efficiency in the government sector. In order to make that happen, uh, we need to monitor the functions of the government agencies and also make corrections as required. In order to strengthen the foundation of our economy, we also need to expand social safety network for uh, the underprivileged Korean people. Next year, uh, if you look at our welfare budget, for the first time, we have assigned uh, 115.5 trillion won, which is 8.5 times greater than the, this year's welfare budget. We have 464,000 senior population who will be benefiting from the basic pension, and also we have 90, 960,000 underprivileged population, including single households and uh, the physically challenged and uh, so that uh, they can withstand the cold winter without difficulties. We have we plan to inject 
10.53 billion Korean won as an energy voucher system. Also, I'm going to work on improving the national insurance system so that we can lower the medical burden on the part of the underprivileged Korean people. I'm going to do all, all the best so that we prevent people making the wrong decision, just like the mother and two daughters who committed suicide because of economic uh, difficulties. So we plan to uh, double the budget for emergency welfare support and increase it to 10.13 billion won. We also plan to expand uh, the scope of beneficiary for the basic uh, welfare scheme. We also plan to increase 240,000 uh, won as uh, rental support for the underprivileged Korean people. So we expanded the budget, the necessary budget, by 50% to 1.1 trillion won. So next year, we are going to do our best so that we can uh, maintain debt-free physical government, physical standing, while supporting these uh, welfare issues. It is our goal to create a welfare state uh, so that we can give hope and happiness to our people. I hope that at the National Assembly you would also collaborate in the finalizing this uh, budget plan so that we can bring back hopes to the underprivileged and uh, people who are losing hopes at the moment. In selecting the welfare recipients, welfare service recipients, and also supplying the service, and after Follow-up management, uh, we believe that uh, tight management is necessary in order to prevent any illegalities, and if there is an illegality identified, I'm going to make sure to punish it so that we prevent any physical waste. Distinguished members of the parliament and uh, fellow Koreans, the world economy is under fierce competition. New ideas and new technologies are creating massive added values. In these circumstances, for the Korean economy to overcome the vicious cycle of low growth, it is really important to turn around the Korean economy and make it a dynamic and innovative economy. And I believe that the starting point can be a creative economy by utilizing the limitless creativity and potential of the Korean people and by using it as a growth engine of our economy, I believe that we can win in the competition in the world. The Korean government uh, has tried to support whoever has a good idea in technology. It is our goal to create the right environment for them to make challenges so that uh, new businesses can be created and it could also fit in growth and reinvestment. So as a result, uh, this year, uh, more than 40,000 new businesses were built and angel investors compared to 2012 increased by 150 percent. Overseas media are now talking about the development new development that is occurring in the Korean venture ecosystem. In the universities and industries, we are seeing a silent revolution occurring. Today, the World Bank announced they're doing business survey, and according to this survey of 189 countries, Korea ranked fifth, which is the best uh, survey result for Korea. Among the G20 countries, we re-ranked one, uh, the first place, and among OECD countries, we ranked third. And so, as you can see, Korea is seen to have an excellent business environment. According to this survey, we can see that the global economy is now focusing their attention on the Republic of Korea, and global companies are seeing Korea as a true partner. Especially in the startup field, our ranking went up from 34th place to 17th place, and we believe that the government's efforts to promote creative economy are now materializing, and we have created the foundation for opening a global era. Based on this foundation, the government will continue to make efforts. The small changes that are taking place in the field, we hope, will be spread out to the entire Korean economy. And so next year, we will support the creative economy with investment of 8 trillion and 300 billion won, which is an increase of 17.1% over this year. We hope that the seed of creative economy will lead to the creation 
education and innovation and will benefit our entire economy. Daegu and Daejeon will begin and we will build creative economic innovation centers in 17 cities and provinces. Each region, we will look at their characteristics and their strength. And in each region, we will establish a customized creative economic model. For example, in the Daejeon area, research institutions develop many different types of technology, and we will try to commercialize these technologies. In the Sejong area, we will apply ICT to the agricultural sector to create smart farms, and we will create new agricultural value through the creative village model. In the Daegu region, textile and automobile components industry, these traditional industries, will converge with ICT to become high-tech industries. Also, the creative economic town is a platform where Korean people can share the creative ideas. We hope that these creative ideas will commercialize. And so we are planning to invest 10 billion won, prototype, manufacturing, legal service, consulting service. All of these different types of service will be comprehensively provided. In the creative economy valley project, we will inject 30.8 billion one. We will identify different ideas and develop prototypes and support startups so that we can create a Silicon Valley for Korea. It will provide a one-stop service. R&D is the pillar that supports creative economy. The government, based on the 13 growth engines, will increase R&D investment to 5% of GDP by 2017. To this end, next year, we will invest 8.8 trillion won, which will be an increase of 5.9% compared to this year. In order to strengthen and bring more efficiency to R&D investment, we will support the research institutions so that they can provide technical assistance to small and medium-sized companies in Korea. The results of technology development should not just stay in the laboratories. They should create new products and new businesses, and so we will work hard to this goal. To enhance the dynamism of our economy, Korean companies must go abroad and advance into overseas markets. We have tried to resolve the difficulties that companies are facing when they are exporting, and we hope to increase the proportion of small to medium-sized companies in our total export market. And this year, we saw in September 33.7 percent of total exports being contributed by SMEs. Korea will continue to support excellent SMEs in Korea so they can become globally strong companies. The companies, SMEs with technologies that are being developed, we will support them. 500 businesses will be selected, and we will invest $250 billion. This will be a 150 percent increase compared to this year. So these technologies will be sorted so that they can be com commercialized. And to this end, we hope that we can help enhance the competitiveness of the small, medium-sized companies. We will also help companies so that they can sell their products in global online shopping sites, and they can acquire overseas certificates. We will also help them to expand their overseas sales channel and support their marketing activities. To this end, we will invest $73.3 billion, and this will be a 160 percent increase over last year. And we will also create jobs and to promote the growth of these companies. We have selected 500 companies, and we will invest $300 billion won. The global environment is becoming much tougher, and competition is becoming tougher. And so for the manufacturing companies, we will help them to implement Manufacturing Innovation 3.0 strategy. In order to enable our companies to go abroad, we must expand our FTA network. We have now signed an FTA with Australia and Canada. I personally persuaded my counterparts in these countries, and we have signed the FTA agreement. Through these efforts, we have been able to expand our FTA network so that it has expanded to include the North Americas and Oceania. Currently, we are now negotiating the FTA agreements with China, New Zealand, and Vietnam, and we will work hard so that we can reach an agreement as soon as possible. 
the FTA and the global economic recession will help our companies to increase their exports and also to expand foreign direct investment into Korea. We want Korean companies to be able to compete with other companies in other countries. And if they can advance early into these overseas companies with reduced tariff, it would greatly benefit them. So I would like to ask the National Assembly to ratify these FTA agreements as soon as possible. Fellow citizens and parliamentarians, in order for the Korean economy to continue to grow, there must be balanced growth between domestic market, export market, between households and companies, and between the manufacturing sector and the service sector. In order to revitalize the domestic market, we must continue to reform regulations and increase corporate investment. I have held ministerial meeting on regulation reform and trade promotion, and we have tried to address the problems that the companies are facing. We have been able to secure 15 truly one in investment. And through the regulatory information portal, we are sharing information on regulation with the Korean people, and the Korean people can monitor the progress that we are making. We have received over 15,000 feedbacks regarding regulations. The Korean government will continue to review regulations so that there are no bad regulations. In order to promote the domestic market, we must create jobs and the growth must benefit different households in Korea. The Korean government hope to increase and stabilize the income of households to support job creation. We will support 14 Point three trillion won. To support those non-regular workers and those facing difficulties, we will invest 109.7 billion won to promote job stability and to bring stable incomes to households. For the non-regular workers, if they are transformed to regular workers and their pay goes up, the government will support 600,000 600, Korean won. And also, when people are going through unemployment, part of the national pension premium will be supported by the government through the unemployment credit program. So also for the low-income workers, uh, their retirement pension is paid by the employer, and part of this will, part of this will be supported by the government. Also for women after having children, when they want to return to work, we want them to come to the return to their jobs. So we are now going to support uh, women in childcare by investing 804.7 billion won, and we will also continue to expand daycare centers. Uh, when women are giving birth and looking after children, uh, they can work shorter hours, and also we plan to strengthen financial incentives so that women can maintain their jobs. Also, we hope to increase flexible hour work system to create more jobs. And to this program, we will invest 32.6 billion won, which is a 40 percent increase over last year. By improving people's working hours and introducing flexible working systems, we hope that we can improve irrational programs in Korea, such as the social insurance payment system. In order to revive the domestic economy, we must support the service industry because the service industry is not fully developed like the manufacturing industry. To this end, the government will support the 5 plus 2 service industries such as the health, medical industry, tourism industry, financial contents industries. For medical industries, in order for the medical industry to go abroad, we will create a global health care fund and invest 30 billion won. The global health care fund will allow investment of the pharmaceutical, medical devices, and medical system sector. Also, creative tourism packages will be developed and Tourism information of public organizations will be shared. To this end, we will make more investments and also actively develop the creative tourism industry. Music 
Movies, animation, the contents industry will also be fostered. And through the contents fund, we will invest 120 billion won. This will be a 50% increase over last year. We will also create the Contents Korea Lab, the Game Development Center, and the Storytelling Story Creation Center and help startups. Through these efforts, we hope to secure future growth engines and also create high quality jobs in Korea. Parliamentarians, as you know, the budget is not enough to revive the economy and provide people with secure livelihoods. The government, the National Assembly, and the Korean people must come together and make efforts to revive the economy. We must eliminate regulation and improve the livelihood of ordinary citizens. We have the legislation legislations to do this, but the National Assembly must pass these legislations as soon as possible in order for our policies to reap the fruits of our efforts. There are legislations that will create jobs and revive the livelihood of Korean people, but they have not yet to be passed. The National Basic Livelihood Act is not being passed, and so 130,000 people who receive assist who can receive assistance for basic livelihood are not receiving the 230 billion won that we have secured, and so it is greatly discouraging to them. As I mentioned before, in the World Bank Business Environment Survey, our weakness lies in fund procurement. Startups with creative ideas can procure funding through the crowding funding system, and this is permitted in other countries, but in Korea it is not being permitted. Those startups that do not have enough funding can truly utilize the crowding funding system, especially in Korea, which has world-class internet infrastructure. We have the capital market Act right now, and if the market capital market act is passed at the National Assembly, startups will be able to utilize crowding funding. Also, we have legislation regarding housing market. The system that we have now was adopted when the housing prices surge, and so we need to revise this program and ensure the vitality of our housing market in the long term. Also, a month's rent will be reimbursed through tax tax return, and this will be able to reduce the housing cost of the working middle class. And so we must quickly pass the Housing Market Act. Without developing the service industry, we cannot create jobs. One of the critical challenges that we face is addressing youth unemployment. The underdeveloped service industry must be transformed into a industry that creates high added value. In order to do that, we must systematically support R&D and HR human resources development. The medical advertisement which is allowed for Koreans is not allowed for foreigners, and so these irrational regulations must be addressed and revised. If we do not quickly revise the legislation on time, this will lead to the de this will lead to create more suffering for the Korean people and it will undermine the development of our national economy. So I hope that the ruling party and the opposition party will come together and in the spirit of joint growth and co-prosperity will quickly pass these legislation. Fellow citizens and parliamentarians, we have promised national innovation and we will consistently and strongly pursue national innovation. During the government audit, we still see corruption and irregularities within our society and in the public sector. Especially in the defense sector, in terms of budget execution, we saw some illegal activities being committed, and this has undermined our secu security. We will strongly eliminate these irregularities and strongly 
prevent uh, these irregularities from occurring. In order for our economy to take the next leap forward and to pass on a country that our future generations can be proud of, we must make efforts. Irregularities that have arise from the past uh, must be addressed, otherwise they will be passed on to our future generations. Unless we can eliminate corruption and reform the public sector Sector, we will continue to pass on the problems to our future generations. To address these issues, there must be legislation. In order to fundamentally eliminate corruption, the so-called Kim yong legislation and Yu byung legislation must be passed through at the National Assembly. And also, we must quickly revise the Government Organization Act in order to uniform the uniform, bring uniformity to the national security system and establish the National Security Office. Unless the Government Organization Act is passed, the government ministries will not be able to fully carry out their jobs, and we will not be able to reform the national security and safety system. So we like to ask you for your support. Fellow citizens, the budget has been planned during economically difficult times. We have boldly and preemptively expanded the current budget to revitalize our economy. We must revitalize our economy, and to that end, we will continue to make efforts and do our best. We hope that next year's budget will revitalize the economy and serve as a stepping stone to creating happiness for the Korean people. I would like to once again ask you so that we can pass the legislations within the legal deadline. Fellow citizens, there were difficult times, and through resilience and through a strong mentality, the Korean people have overcome these difficulties to revive the economy. Once again, the National Assembly, the government, the Korean people must gather their wisdom and pave the way to create a new Republic of Korea. I believe that. Through innovation, we can once again revive Korea, and I believe that we will be able to take the next step forward. We must all come together as one, make the effort to create a new bright future for the Republic of Korea. Thank you very much.